Now this dashboard is set up under the default configuration within ServiceMate. We have a graphic set of buttons here for navigation. We have our getting started list for uh, video tutorial. And then we have our activity feed. Let's hit the edit dashboard over here in the top right area. And now we can see we can manipulate and move these objects around. And we do that by either moving them down, up, and moving them to the right or to the left. For this example, let's go ahead and remove all items. For this example, let's go ahead and remove all items so I can show you how to manipulate your dashboard layout. I'm going to start by removing our graphic buttons. And then I'll get rid of our getting started progress and finally get the activity feed. Okay, so at the top here we see how we can add additional content. Activity feed, the getting started uh, tutorials. We have our icon based menu system. We also have a task list and a recent customer feedback. Most people do like to have that icon based menu system at the top so I'll do that one first. There we are. And you see that's in position left uh, position zero and the item itself is on the left side of the screen. Now we're going to add in another item and for me what's really important I want to see that customer feedback. Now this is related to the customer feedback add-on. Uh, if you don't have that on it's a great one to initiate in the settings menu. Alright we have that turned on and that's in the left and I'm also wanting to see the activity feed and I'm going to have that one. Let's bring that in. All right, so we have position zero, position one, and position two. Now what I'm gonna do for my activity feed, I'm gonna bring that up. All right, and now we have position one, position one, left and left. That's definitely not what I wanna see, but I'm gonna have the customer feedback on the right side. Now we see these are both in position one, and this one's on the right, this one's on the left. So we reconfigured how this is gonna work for us. Um, if I want to bring back in the Getting started, I can, um, but overall after I get through our training, it's not going to be needed. And I'll bring in the task list as well, just so I have line of sight to that. Let's add that item in. There we go. And that's going to be under our activity feed here. Okay. So we'll exit the edit mode. And here we are with our new layout. We have our navigation buttons the same. We have the activity feed the same. It's now on the left side of the screen. We have not activated the customer feedback module yet, so that's empty. And if I scroll down, I see my My Tasks, which I have none. All right, so that's how you edit and modify your dashboard layout.